so on to Loudoun County. I want to say, though, that it's time to stop sugarcoating the issue for the sake of political correctness and inclusivity, all right? It's time to stop. We've been so nice. We've been so sweet. We've been so good to you, lefties. We've been so nice for so long, all right? And where has it gotten us? Where's it gotten us, guys? We've given so much rope to the government, and we never, lo- uh, we never bothered to look at the spool, all right? We never bothered to look back and see how much rope we had left. And now, now we have no rope. And instead of giving back some rope when we ask for it, <laughs> the left and our own government are trying to hang us with it. So what do we do? What can we do? Well, the first thing we do is we get our story straight and we start talking about it. So here's what happened. All right. Here's exactly what happened. Last week, Breitbart and Daily Wire broke an incredibly disturbing story about a young high school girl raped by a trans student in Loudoun County, Virginia. Now, I know that's hard to hear. I know. I know. But don't change the channel because you need to hear it. We have to have, all right, we have to have a frank and truthful conversation about this because the school board covered it up to pass their critical race agenda. That's right, folks. Their woke agenda, their ideology, their religion. It was more important. It was more important than the safety of our children. All right. These are educators. We trust these people. All right. And this is an agenda all right, that's appearing all over the country, trickling down from the top, finding its way into our public school systems and everywhere else we look nowadays. So I want to say this clearly. The school board covered up a rape. Not only did they cover up a rape, but they lied about it. All right. They lied about it. And then had the, f- the girl's father arrested for being upset about it and calling them out in public. Are you awake yet? Did you hear me? You should be not only furious, you should be terrified at the same time. All right, guys, from Breitbart.com, Dr. Susan Berry writes the following. A father is claiming the Loudoun County School District attempted to cover up his daughter's alleged assault in the girls' bathroom at Stonebridge High School by a boy wearing a skirt. Scott Smith was arrested in June at a school in Loudoun County, Virginia, during a school board meeting at which hundreds of parents voiced concerns about the district's transgender policy and critical race theory. A month earlier, Smith claimed a boy who was wearing a skirt had entered the girls' bathroom at the high school and sexually assaulted his ninth grade daughter. Ninth grade, folks. According to the report, Smith's attorney, Elizabeth Lancaster, said the boy was charged, are you ready, with two counts of forcible sodomy, one count of anal sodomy, and one count of forcible fellatio that day at school. Smith said the school told him they would handle the incident of his daughter's assault in house, in house. So let's be clear, folks, a transgender student. All right. A transgender, a transgender student. You can see my invisible quote marks went into the girl's bathroom. All right. That thing that lefties, uh, they, they claim, say and, and plead for it to be a right of the transgender community, that they can just go into any bathroom they so choose, all right? This transgender student went into the girls' bathroom and raped what could have been my daughter or your daughter. It was somebody's daughter. It was Scott's daughter. This monster didn't just force a kiss on the girl or try to grope her, both unacceptable, no. He forced the girl into fellatio, two counts of sodomy, and one count of anal sodomy. You know what that means? All right. For those that uh, aren't educated in the subject, that means this wasn't quick. This happened in a school bathroom. And now the school's telling me not to go to the cops as a parent, that they'll handle it in-house? Really? I I don't know. 
I don't know how this dad didn't snap and go postal. I don't. All right. If anything, he shouldn't have been arrested. He should have been given a medal for patience. All right. But anyway, the dad gets arrested. Let's read. The father's arrest came during a board meeting at which the board ordered the room cleared as attendees grew more upset with comments that were made. A sheriff's deputy ultimately declared the meeting an unlawful assembly and ordered the crowd to disperse or be subject to arrest for trespassing. Just prior to Smith's arrest in the, uh, at the meeting, the Loudoun County Public School Superintendent told attendees opposed to the transgender bathroom policy that their concerns were unfounded since the school district had no records of any assaults having taken place in school bathrooms. All right. Right from the beginning, he lies and says they have no idea what's happening. All right. An LGBTQ activist at the meeting. This is what happens next. They reportedly then told Smith his daughter's claim. All right. His claim, her claim of the rape her claim of the assault wasn't believable. All right. It wasn't believable. Because the school said there was no record of the assault. Smith said with that statement, he, quote, went nuts, assaulted the principal and was subsequently arrested. Let me tell you, the principal is lucky. The principal's lucky, all right, superintendent, principal, whatever, that dad didn't put him in the hospital. Because if that happened to my kid, all right, if that happened to my daughter, I'd literally, literally blow a head gasket. All right, I don't think I'd have any self-control if I spoke the truth about my daughter's rape in the school bathroom, all right, and the principal, superintendent, whatever, called me a liar. While some self-righteous POS LGBTQ holier than thou activist rubbed my nose in dog poop at the expense of my traumatized child. <laughs> Make no mistake. That's exactly what happened. That's exactly what happened. All right. What happened to hashtag me too? What happened to women's empowerment? What happened to equality? Huh? None of that counts. None of that counts when the transgender community is involved. All right. It seems that whenever they're involved, at least whatever this militant radical sect of them are, it, whenever they're involved, Nothing counts. Everything's off the table, their way or the highway, an entire school board. All right. The teaching staff and their activist lackeys sacrificed a young American girl to the woke socialist false gods. They hid her rape from a public. All right. They hid her rape from a public forum and they hid her rape from the general public because they determined that protecting their wicked ideology was the right thing to do morally to them. It was the right thing to do. Let me say this one more time. They believe that what they're doing is the right thing to do. The arrest from this article didn't happen yesterday, folks. It happened June 22nd, June 22nd, folks. That means it took four entire months for us to hear about it. The story should be on the cover of every single major newspaper and publication in the country. But instead, no, it's meaningless. Because the LGBTQ community can do no harm in the eyes of the mainstream media, the public school systems, big tech, big business, and scariest of all, the Department of Justice. In previous episodes, guys, I said that I'm fine. I'm absolutely fine with everybody having their own community. I'm very libertarian in that aspect. Live and let live. All right. This is America. You be over there. I'll be me over here. We can meet in the middle, maybe trade once in a while, you know, and then via candios. Bye bye. Live your life. All right. Live it over there. I don't have to agree 
I don't have to agree with your way of life to accept and support the fact that you're entitled to your own pursuit of happiness, whatever that may be, just as I am to mine, just as my children are to theirs, free from manipulation. But listen to me very, very closely. Come here. Get closer to the speaker and listen very closely. When you come onto my lawn and you tell me how to live my life, now, now we have problems. When you come onto my lawn, break into my house, and rape my children. Well, now, my friend, now we have, as us once young kids once called it, major beef. All right, compadre, major beef. And that's where we are right now. 